What's up everybody? Today is the last day of March. Um, been working on the channel very hard recently and I'm, I'm realizing that I do uh, do a few videos in a row of the same species. So I was planning on going fishing for stripers this morning, but I figured I'd switch it up because the last three videos I did were, you know, targeting striped bass. Um, unfortunately by me, I was gonna do a surf uh, fishing video, but the five nearest beaches to where I live are all shut down. Um, and every town that shut them down imposed some type of fine if you're caught on the beach. I believe uh, for the town that I like to go surf fishing in, the fine is $1,000 if you're caught on their beach or boardwalk, which is kind of nuts. I understand the reasoning because they're trying to prevent, you know, big gatherings and trying to slow the spread of this, you know, virus. But, you know, it kind of screws the surf guys out. You know what I mean? Like, I, when I go surf fishing, there's not a guy within a football field of me. You know what I mean? Because there's, you know, I forget how big the coastline is where I fish, like the, the island. But it's pretty big where everybody has sufficient space and, you know, nobody's within feet of each other. But... Uh, I'm not really trying to get a fine right now. I'll just be patient and wait it out until, you know, they uh, open the beaches back up. But, all right, so since it is the end of March, the last day, I figured what what better place to finish out the month of March than up the river. Um, so the two rigs I'm gonna be using are my triple hook rig, which feature um, three Gamagatsu size four hooks. Uh, octopus hooks. I'm also going to be throwing out my Sabiki rig, um, which has size 16 hooks. So, pretty much what I'm hoping we see some catfish, some uh, white perch. Uh, I do know stripers are up there, maybe an occasional striper. So, if we get any of those three, I'll be happy. Um, any day out on the water is great, so you know, can't complain. Uh, the spot I'm going to be fishing very accessible from land. I know that a lot of you guys that watch these videos are fishing from land and um, this is like a perfect spot from land depending on the tide. Uh, I do know if you do fish where I'm going, you don't want to fish there when it's the middle of the tide because it rips through there and you're just unable to hold bottom with, with a sufficient amount of weight and you get a ton of grass. Uh, where I'm going right now, it's bottom of the tide starting to come in excuse me so uh hopefully we'll see some fish all right so real quick uh weather update today is uh rain and in the low 40s so i'm, I'm curious to see what the water temp uh will do because it has been getting warmer recently just uh slowly because the weather has kind of cooled off a little bit uh how i'll be checking the weather is with my deeper pro or i'm sorry the water temp uh, has a little, uh, it's a little sonar system that I use. It gives you the surface temp. It's usually pretty accurate, but uh, I always like tracking it because this time of year in the rivers, you can really, really find the fish if you find the right temperature. Um, the fish that I'm targeting are all going for their spawn runs, and once they find that right temperature, uh, that's when they start to, you know, go crazy. So, you find the temperature, you find the fish. See, here's the greatest thing about rain days. So, it's raining right now. Rain on and off. There isn't anybody to my right. Nobody to my left. I mean, uh, nothing better than having a spot to yourself. Alright, so I'm tying on my infamous triple hook rig. Just trying to get it untangled. There we go. Get that line back. Just make sure I got the right end up. Perfect, yeah, so. Let me tie that on. Now one of the best things I do in the winter time is when I have days that I can't get out fishing or I need, you know, to get stuff done around the house and I tie a ton of these rigs that way they're already pre-made so that come spring 
when it, the bike turns on, I'm not out here tying rigs. I just gotta find a weight. I think I have one in my pocket. There we go. Can't beat that. All right, so for bait today, we got some grass shrimp. I'm gonna put about one or two on each hook, depend on depend on the size shrimp it is. Some of these smaller guys, I could probably fit two. Some of these bigger guys, one's more than enough. Feed it all the way through, fits on the hook perfectly. Boy out there. I have a good feeling about today. Right in the honey hole. So the wind today is about eight to ten miles per hour, so it's not too bad. It's not great, it's not terrible, but anytime it's really not more than 15, I could deal with it. As you could really see, I don't know if you can see on the water, but it is raining out right now, so not anybody out here, I think, because of the rain. Yeah, so beaches are shut down, but I mean, this is the next best thing. This is sand, so I guess it's like my uh, country surf fishing, I guess you'll call it. Fish on. Damn, this one nearly took the rod out of my holder. Let's go. Damn, this actually feels like a nicer sized fish. Uh, I say that. I think he might might have been fooling me. That's not a bad size. Oh, you know, that's why I felt big. Look at that. Foul hooked white perch. That's actually not a bad size fish. That's why I felt big. He was foul hooked. So here's what I know. They're definitely spawning, as you can tell. Um, so, uh, we're not going to keep this guy. I mean, that's like a perfect filleting size, but I don't want to kill something that, you know, I got plenty of food at home. Let's just see that guy go away. Hopefully he spawns out, makes thousands more perch. Now, you could always tell if you're going to have a good day of fishing just by looking at the water clarity. I mean, the water here is that I'm fishing, I guess you'd consider it cedar water, but when you can see the bottom like this, you know it's going to be a good day because a lot of these uh, fish are actual sight feeders, and when the water looks like chocolate milk because it gets churned up from the wind, you just know it's going to be a tough day of fishing. Now, the greatest thing about this type of fishing is, aside from, you know, buying hooks and line and weights, the bait is free. If you could catch grass shrimp, you know what I mean? You have an endless supply of bait. Now, uh, I've been doing this a long time and I have a ton of grass shrimp spots I hit near me, but if you have the right net, you can always catch just enough bait, you know, to get you through the day or the week, depending on how much you want to fish. I try not to take more than what I need for a day because I could always go out and catch fresh ones. And I don't want to wipe out a population. You know, it's it's always good to take what you need and not more than that. You know what I mean? So I'm messing with it. There we go, fish on. Let's go. Let's freaking go, this one feels actually bigger. As long as it's not foul hook, this actually might not be a bad uh, size perch. Oh man, oh God. 
Well, that is not a perch. It's just a catfish. Man, I felt like a nice sized perch. Go figure, it's a channel cat, I believe. Here on my channel, there's no such thing as a trash fish. You know what I mean? I'd rather catch a hundred of these than get skunked. But we're gonna let Mr. Catfish go back to his, uh, his day. And off he goes. All right, so we're gonna throw some night crawlers on the triple hook rig. See if we can't find some bigger cats. I've also caught perch and stripers on these, so there's no nothing crazy about using these guys. All right, we got the night crawler rod all rigged up. Let's get her out in the honey hole. Now one of the benefits of putting that rod out is they're harder to rip off the hook where with grass shrimp, I mean, if if while you're reeling in, you'll probably lose half your bait. That's how you know soft those things are. That quick, it didn't even hit bottom yet and the night crawler rod's been bouncing. Don't know what it is, but fish on. Man, that one wasn't even on the bottom before it started bouncing. Be curious to see what it is. Ah, baby cat. There we go. Yeah. Nah. Feels like a small cat. Yep. Cat. Middle hook. Yeah, that's true. This little guy go. Boop going the wrong way. He'll find his way. Getting a hit, getting a hit. Fish on. Let's go. This on the grass shrimp rod. Hoping it's something a little different. Maybe another perch. But I believe it is a little catfish. No shortage of small cats today. All right, bud, see you later. Man, I don't know why, they just keep going the wrong way. Hmm, there he goes. Now, the beauty of night crawlers over blood worms is these things stay pretty good in your fridge i mean i've had these ones since december and they're still kicking and they're much cheaper i mean i got 24 of them for four bucks where you get 24 blowworms and that's depending on where you go could be as upwards of 30 some dollars fish on there we go cats you just gotta be careful how you take these guys off because the spines just get you oh, another one going through my legs that's weird I don't know why they all want to go that way oh, buddy wrong way there you go Oh 
Oh my god, I didn't even know this guy was on my hook. A little catfish. Jesus. Man, they all, every one I've thrown has gone behind me. Don't have too much more time just because my daughter's gonna get up from her nap so hopefully we can get a few more fish before the day's over i've only been fishing for 40 minutes so we'll see oh there we go I, that hit like a striper oh he came off nope no he's swimming he's swimming swimming right towards Nice. Third species, man. Third species of the day. We're going to get an underwater release. There we go. Oh, this might be the last fish of the day for me. I know. Well, you know, I can't, oh, a baby stripe, man, that is a tiny striper. Holy moly. Oh yeah, man, that's like pet striper right there. Take it. All right, we're gonna let this little, little guy go. been a good day so far but i'm realizing my boots i've had since high school aren't waterproof anymore it's just slow leak right now yeah but you know i'm 29 years old the fact they lasted like you know 15 16 years they don't make them like that no more Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I would have loved to fish a lot longer because the bite was really starting to turn on. Um, you know, but I made the most of the hour I had. Um, a lot of my videos I do shoot during the time my daughter's sleeping, taking her naps for the day or sleeping at nighttime. Um, just don't want to sacrifice being there for her to catch some fish. But, uh, I do have some big things planned in the upcoming weeks with the warmer weather, um, which include bow fishing videos, a noodling video, and a ton of different more species uh, to showcase on the channel. So as usual, if you did like the video, please throw me a comment or a like. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. My goal is to try and hit a thousand subs by May which I think I could do because I'm trying to produce, you know, a video every other day or so. So, uh, thank you again for all the support and I'll see you guys later.